In our first story this afternoon, management of Ghana Cocoa Board have been meeting with the leadership of Cocoa Carriers for an amicable solution to their indefinite strike. The series of meetings began this morning and are expected to end later today. The management, led by the chief executive, Joseph Bain Edu, is hopeful the issue will be resolved by tomorrow to enable the workers to return to post. The workers have been demanding a pay increase, a health insurance and vehicles to convey them to their workplaces. The indefinite strike has the potential of affecting export of cocoa. Meantime, activities have come to a standstill at cocoa marketing companies' uh, depots across the country as the strike by the cocoa carriers enters day two. Here's our Tema correspondent, Kwame Anka. According to the cocoa carriers, Cocoa Marketing Company does not have their interests at heart, leading to their current condition. For them, nothing has been done about their condition of service in the last five years, and the strike is the only means to drum home their concerns. The strike, they say, could affect haulage of cocoa for exports. The angry workers say they are given a paltry 31 pesos for offloading, an additional 31 pesos for stacking, despite risks they are exposed to. Speaking to Joy Business in Tema, the cocoa carriers are asking for increment from 62 pesos to one CD per bag. When you come to pick one cocoa bag, and that they will give you 31 pesos, and at the end of the day, I cannot even buy you a pure water, common pure water to drink. How then do you take care of your families? How then will you now be able to take a car from wherever you are coming from? If you say I buy no, since before the first can be carried here, I'm buying one CD per one bag. Because <laughs> Well, next to the Ashanti region where similar protests were held. I am here at the Ahonjo Koko Depot where workers, that is, the cocoa carriers here are demonstrating against what they term as the unfair treatment when it comes to their daily wages and other conditions of service. Well, let's speak to some of them to hear their concerns. Irate cocoa carriers loiter around at the premises of the cocoa marketing company, CMC. They had previously dealt directly with CMCs for their wage negotiations. However, the CMCs have contracted third parties with this responsibility. Careers wants the current 62 pesos for offloading a bag of beans increased to one Ghana cities. Raymond Abanga is chairman of the Kumasi Cocoa Careers Association. Our concern now is that we want the public and the government, led by His Excellency Nana Ado, Danko Afkuf Ado, to hear our cry. We plead with the public that we, the Cocoa Carriers of Ghana, we are suffering and we need justice. We need fairness. Over five years now, we have been paid 62 pesos, 62 pesos per bag. Over the five good years, there has not been increment. Simp when we want to speak, they tell us that we are working with contractors. They are not paying us. So. They are not even, even, even the, the careers are also worried about what they say are dangers associated with your work, as many of them reportedly fall ill after being exposed to chemicals. There are also concerns over work-related injuries in the face of poor salary. My danger is even dangerous because 
The bag is 64 kilo, and I carry it two times. I have to carry the bag. I have to remove 2,000 bags, and they have to sample it, send it to a lab, and come back before I will use that 2,000 bags and stack it to like a, to, to like a Latin spoon. And even when you reach the house, you can't even sleep. Chemical, chemicals is in the chemicals is even in the cocoa. They are killing us, and the chemicals is killing us. Last year, 10 of our carriers died. If you look for more and more soldiers, you will see more people out to work around. The brain of our best man. He said, "I brought a few of my colleagues to work here with me, but they couldn't." Coco Careers want to directly deal with the Coco marketing companies in negotiations for improved working conditions. We don't want directors or mediators or contractors between we, the carriers, and CMC. We want the directors to give us way or CMC to cancel the contract basis, and then we, the carriers, will work with them uh, direct. We will be able to manage our own affairs, and operation will go on smoothly in good harmony. Though the cocoa marketing company has refused to speak to us, well, the cocoa carriers say they are not going back to work till they reach an agreement with the authorities. From Kumasi for Joy News, Mona Lisa from Pond reporting.